Okay, so in this video we're going to look at exchange rates and how we can use these to transfer pounds into euros and euros into pounds. Now, the likelihood is that this would be on a calculator paper because we're often going to be dealing with quite nasty numbers. So really the uh, question is going to be testing you on the process and how you understand how to solve the problem. Now I've just gone online and checked to see what the current um, exchange rate is and from pounds into euros one pound is 1.28 euros okay so uh, 10 years ago or so um, a pound would have bought you about one and a half euros so exchange rates fluctuate continuously or continually rather um, and so depending on you know, next year it might be 1.2 euros. Um, it might be 1.35 euros. Okay, um, so they change. So um, if you work from an older textbook, the exchange rates will be out of date very quickly. So one pound is 1.28 euros. So let's say um, I want to change. I go into um, a bureau to change our bureau to change, and then uh, we want to change thirty five pounds into euros. Okay, well, one pound will get me one point two eight euros, so thirty five pound will get me thirty five lots of one point two eight euros. Okay, so we do that on our calculator thirty five times one point two eight is 44.8 so 44.8 euros so that is how we can transfer from pounds into euros it's a very simple multiplication then let's say we want to we're coming back from our holiday and we have um, let's say we've got 200 euros and we want to transfer this back into pounds. Then for this problem, instead of doing a multiplication, it is a division. So we do 200 divided by the 1.28. So 200 divided by 1.28 is 156 pounds 25. So 200 euros is 156 pound 25. And any calculation that you do, make sure that you round it to the nearest penny. Okay? But that is, it's a very simple process to go from one currency to another because it is just multiplication one way and division the other way. Okay? So it's a quite a simple process. You just need to know which you are multiplying by and which you're dividing by. 